Hello, and welcome to the installation guide for AI Follower Framework. If you have no idea what the heck this is, you're probably going to want to watch this video, which is linked in the description below. Before we really get into the meat and potatoes of the installation for this mod, we need to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the AI services we're going to be using. You see, to run a lot of AI services and programs, you need rather powerful hardware. In this example, we're going to be setting up an AI generation engine, a text-to-speech engine, and a speech-to-text engine. To run all three of these with enough power to actually get meaningful output on your own computer, you're frankly going to need a supercomputer. And your dad probably doesn't work at Microsoft. So, to alleviate this, we are going to be using online server-hosted AI solution. First of these online services is called Open Router, which is really awesome because they have a whole heap of AI services available. We're going to be using Open Router as the AI brain connector for the mod, and the LLM in particular will be Llama 3 70B Instruct. If you're going to pick another LLM, which I don't recommend to do for this video, but to do later, it needs to be an Instruct model. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. You don't need to know this for the installation video. And secondly, we're going to use OpenAI, but not for ChatGPT. We understand there's a bunch of concerns, and a lot of people may not like OpenAI, but we're using it for one very specific service, and that's RISPA, which acts as speech to text, which allows you to use your microphone to talk to the AI NPCs. Frankly, you don't need this working to enjoy the mod, as you can just type to the AI NPCs instead. Now the big caveat with all of this is that with both of these services, you're going to have to enter a minimum of $5 into both of them for you to actually use them. To explain, we're not making any money. The mod is not a paid mod. You can actually do everything for free, but once again, you do not have a supercomputer, so you need to rely on external AI services to be able to effectively use the mod. And $10 down payment may seem like a lot. However, to clarify, this money you're putting in is credit in a pay-as-you-go scheme. You're only ever going to be charged or use credit whenever you actually use the mod. If you don't play with the mod for three months and come back, you're still going to have all those credits in your account. And to give an example of monthly costs during our heavy development testing of this mod, we maybe at most spent $5 in an entire month using all of these AI services. So you can get quite a lot of bang for your buck to have meaningful conversations with AI NPCs. With both of these services, once you put in the money, you're going to need to generate an API key. I'm not going to go over in detail how to do that in this video, just to save time. But once you get API keys from both of these services, you're then going to want to save them for later on in the video. If this is your first time ever using API keys, the main thing you need to know is you should never, ever, ever share them with anybody. It's like your password to your account. If someone has access to your API keys, they can use up all your credits in your account which isn't very nice. So, to summarize, create an account with OpenRouter and OpenAI. Put $5 minimum into both of these accounts. Generate API keys in both accounts and save them somewhere for later. Now, for the text-to-speech services for the mod, the two we're going to be going over today are fortunately free. The first one is Mellow TTS. This one is free, like I said. It can run on practically a potato and how you have it set up, it's pretty easy to install, and also has all the default Skyrim voices set up. So there's no manual configuration required to talk to all the vanilla NPCs. The main catch with Mellow TTS is that the voice quality is not great. But once again, you're paying nothing for this. And our second text-to-speech option is XTTS Fast API, which is miraculously free because it has some of the best text-to-speech quality of any service out there. It's pretty much just behind Eleven Labs in regards to how bloody good it is. And also, it can generate any AI voice automatically. 
It's honestly an extremely cool piece of software. The main catch, however, is that you need a NVIDIA GPU to run it. Honestly, a pretty good run, as you'll need at least 2 to 4 gigabytes of VRAM to run this on top of running your heavily modded version of Skyrim. So, this only really works if you have a rather powerful gaming computer. But don't fret, if you can't use XTTS, you can easily use Mellow TTS as a substitute. Finally, before we get started, I am just going to assume that you already know the basics of Skyrim modding. Downloading a mod organizer, using SKSE, that and upload orders. This is to primarily save time so this video isn't an hour long, and the mod setup for the Skyrim portion is fairly straightforward. If you have no idea how to mod Skyrim, I highly recommend you watch this video, which is linked in the description below. So, we're six minutes in, and we haven't even got started. So, let's set up AI Follower Framework. So the first thing we need to do is open up Control Panel, go to Programs and Features, click Turn Windows Features on or off, and then in the menu that appears, scroll down to the bottom, and ensure that Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux are both checked. If you need to install either of them, click OK and restart your computer. Now most computers should have this enabled by default, but you just want to make sure that you have virtualization enabled in your BIOS. This is going to vary depending from computer to computer how to enable it, so I linked in the description below a basic guide of what you need to do. Now you need to navigate over to our mod page, go to the files, and install one Dremor AI Distro free. This is a manual download, which you're just going to have to download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract the content somewhere on your computer where you're not going to forget it, and somewhere where you're not going to want to move it. In this example, I'm just placing it on my desktop. Open up the Drama Distro folder and run the installation script, and you'll just have to press enter to go to the next step in the installation. You'll then get prompted if you want to install Mellow TTS. For most people watching, I recommend you install it. Yeah, I'll also show you later how to install XTTS. So press Y and enter and wait for the installation process to proceed. It's going to take a little bit. You'll then get prompted with another menu wherever you want to start Mellow TTS with your GPU or CPU. If you have a good NVIDIA graphics card, start it on GPU. If you don't have a good graphics card or just use an AMD, start it on CPU. Select your option, press enter, and well done. You've installed a distro. These next steps are optional, and I'm going to show you how to install XTTS. So if you don't want to install it, skip to this timestamp here. In the distro folder, go to Tools, Components, NVIDIA GPU Components, and run the CUDA script. You shouldn't miss it. It's going to take a little while to download, so please be patient. Eventually you'll be presented with a license agreement page. Just click Tab, and then Enter. In the next page, click down arrow key and enter and wait for the installation to finish. You can close the window once it's finished. Next, we're going to run the install XTTS script. Run it, it's going to take a while once again to download, so please be patient. We then get presented with a configuration menu for how you want XTTS to run. Read over the options and pick the run which best suits your system. I have a pretty powerful graphics card, so I'm going to select Deep Seed and press enter. It's only going to do another installation, so please be patient. Once you get to the end of this one, just press Control c and Gen Enter to close out the menu. Now we're ready to start the server, but before that, we're going to create a desktop shortcut of the start server script, so it's easier to use in the future. And then you just have to run the script and wait for the server to boot up you're going to see a command window appear. Eventually, your default browser of choice will open up a quick start menu for configuration. If you don't see the quick start menu, you can find it under the configuration tab within the server. Now the quick start menu is rather easy to set up. You just have to place in your current character's name, paste in your open router API key you generated earlier. If you forgot to do that, we have a link here so you can go and make that. Then you can also select what text-to-speech service you want between Mellow or XTTS. Choose the one you installed. For most people, once again, 
recommend you use Mellow. And finally, you can paste in your OpenAI API key for speech to text. Now, all you have to do is click the yellow button to download the AI agent.ini. We're going to need this later for when we set up the Skyrim mod. I recommend you click the link to read our 101 Crick Guide for some more information about how the mod works. And finally, once you're ready, click the save button. We're now presented with the configuration wizard. We're not going to go over this in the video, but this is the main place you make any further configurations for the mod. Now, before we actually download the mod, we're going to run some troubleshooting tests to make sure that everything we set up actually works. So run the test current LLM AI connector, wait for the page to load, and if you get some sort of response at the bottom in bold, well done! Your open router API key works. Now run the TTS test, and after the page loads, if you get an audio ice, file which you can hear, then either Mellow TTS or XTTS is working correctly. Now finally run the STT test, and wait for the page to load. You should see two lines of dialogue if they both match in well done. Your STT service or OpenAI API key works as expected. And now everything's fully functional on the server. So let's install a Skyrim mod. On the Skyrim mod page, make sure to download the required mods in the mod requirements and also download the latest version of the VC redistributable. Then go to the mod files page, download the two AI agent mod with your mod manager of choice, install it with your mod manager of choice, and then enable it. Make sure that the AI agent.esp plugin is within your load order. Now you just have to open up the folder of the AI agent mod, open up SKSE, open up plugins, and the AI agent or any file we are going to place into this folder right next to the AI agent.dll. So, with the Drama Distro server running, the AI agent mod installed with the AI agent.ini placed in the mod, we can now actually start up Skyrim. Once you get in game, you can use this mod in a mid save playthrough or on a new game. There's some rare instances of this mod causing crashes on new game, usually due to alternate start mods, but it's a very easy fix. All you have to do is disable AI agent start your new game get through the new game section until you're back to regular skyrim and then just re-enable ai agent once in game open the mod configuration menu open the aiff menu set up your hotkeys for communicating with the ai for activating the ai and also enable ai actions you can also adjust the ai volume here as well now just use your communication method of choice and say hello narrator Arangrobe, back in Dragonsrek against you were just assisting the people of Hafinger, weren't to you? How's that going for you? Oh, so you're greeting everyone now? Trying to gather an audience for your heroics, Argonian? By the way, how many more favors do you need to complete for the people of Hafingar? Just one, if I recall correctly. Finally, to test if it works on actual NPCs, go up to run, press the activate AI key, and wait for your response. My thing, I must admit, am experiencing strange sensations. It seems my bond to you has grown stronger, and ready to serve you with renewed vigor. Wise your will. I must confess, my thing. This newfound sense of reality is unsettling, yet exhilarating. My senses are heightened, and my resolve to serve you has never been stronger. Well done. If you got this far, you got AI follower framework successfully installed in Skyrim, and now you can have meaningful conversations with AI NPCs. Pretty cool, right? With the setup we followed for this video, we're really just scratching the surface of what is possible with this mod with configurations. If this is your first time setting up the mod, I highly recommend you leave the settings as is, and just play with the mod first, figure out what you like, what you don't like, before diving deep into the configuration wizard and trying to fine-tune the mod to your perfect liking. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, or need help with installation, I highly recommend you join our active Discord community and ask for assistance in there. There's always someone there to help out. Anyway, we hope you guys have fun with this mod. There's a whole heap of extra updates planned, 
and well we just want to make sure that you have the best experience possible with our ai follower framework so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it helped you install this mod and to have some fun with now a 13 year old video game with ai integration and um well just take it easy